you keep saying the word cloud. I don't think it means what you think it means. Let me explain. Hey everybody, I'm Ned Bellavance, nedinthecloud.com, and today I wanted to share with you some ideas I've been mulling over when it comes to the next generation of cloud architecture. I'm curious to hear what you think of them, so hit me up on LinkedIn or down in the comments. Before we get into the topic, I want to thank UpCloud for sponsoring this video. More about them later. My big three ideas are, number one, cloud doesn't mean the big providers anymore. Number two, cloud might not mean off-premises. And number three, cloud agnostic tools are your friend. Let's dig in. When you think of cloud, you're probably thinking of the big three or four cloud providers. And that's not exactly an accident. Companies like Amazon and Microsoft spend a ton of money making sure they're top of mind when someone says, the cloud. They're also heavily involved in developer relations, trying to convince budding software engineers to adopt their platform. Despite their best efforts, a cottage industry of other alternative clouds has sprung up. Some of them focus on lower cost by forgoing the bells and whistles of the big providers. These alternative clouds might not have over 400 services, but they do have foundational IaaS offerings that are rock solid and half the cost. Other alternative clouds have focused on particular industry verticals, catering to the unique needs of healthcare, manufacturing, or maybe finance. Typically, they are built in a way that helps their clients meet stringent regu regulations while offering systems and solutions that are unique to that industry. Still other clouds have sprung up around the edge, and what it means to be the edge is ever-changing. Some edge locations could be in a co-location data center, others could be in a cell phone tower, and still others could be at a client site like a restaurant or a retail store. These edge providers are focused on providing a cloud-like operational experience, a pay-as-you-go cost model, and services that augment applications that are running on the big cloud providers. Cloudflare, for instance, is heavily investing in services that don't necessarily replace the major cloud providers. Instead, they enhance applications by moving some components closer to the end user. We have moved to an era where applications are fragmented into microservices. They're composed of smaller pieces that don't all have to be living in the same data center, let alone on the same server. The impact on modern cloud architecture is one of choice. You are no longer constrained by the offerings of the three or four big cloud providers. You have an embarrassment of choices laid before you that could transform how you approach application design and deployment. Speaking of other cloud providers, today's sponsor is UpCloud. Built by developers, for developers, UpCloud is a cloud service aiming to change the game when it comes to CSPs. UpCloud's unique Max IOPS block storage technology gives you blazing fast speeds, making your applications run smoother than ever. Whether you're an independent developer, a startup, or an enterprise, UpCloud offers the flexibility to scale your resources effortlessly. Do you need global reach? UpCloud's data centers are strategically located worldwide, ensuring your services are always close to your customers. This means minimal latency and maximum performance. Security is a top priority at UpCloud. To keep your information safe and sound, they offer advanced firewalls, private networking, and data encryption all at no additional cost. With UpCloud's pay-as-you-go pricing model, you only pay for what you use. No more hefty bills for unused resources. Even better, they recently eliminated all network transfer fees with their zero-cost egress initiative. Zero-cost egress means that you won't be surprised by transfer charges that you haven't budgeted for. Your cost is predictable even if your app happens to go viral. So why wait? Join the ranks of savvy businesses that trust UpCloud for their cloud infrastructure needs. Visit upcloud.com for a demo and start your free trial today. UpCloud, fast, 
flexible, and reliable cloud services tailor-made for you. Now back to the video. The other thing you probably think of when it comes to the cloud is someone else's facility. After all, there's the old saying, the cloud is just someone else's computer. While there might be some truth to the phrase, it also gets cloud wrong in a key way. Cloud isn't a place. It's a way of operating, and that includes your on-premises locations. Running an on-premises data center like a cloud implies a platform that is elastic, self-service, tracks costs, and of course, uses pooled resources. You can build such a platform yourself, or you can purchase ready-made solutions from one of several vendors. The big providers like AWS, Azure, and Google all have an on-prem play that enables you to use an off-premises control plane to manage your on-premises assets. Whether you get those assets directly from the cloud provider or through a vendor is largely irrelevant. The key here is that the control plane is centrally managed and provides the platform for cloud operations. There are also several hardware companies like HPE and Dell that are leaning into selling an on-prem solution that has a pay-as-you-go cost model, like the cloud, with built-in elasticity that they get by shipping you excess hardware that you then grow into. You could also choose to build the platform yourself, leveraging some open source projects and tooling to provide the necessary services. Whichever way you choose to go, there are two practical upshots. First, as you plan your modern cloud architecture, don't assume that on-premises has no role to play. I assure you, it very much does. And second, you're going to need a platform team to run whatever platform you eventually land on. Platform engineers are a rare breed at the moment, so I'd recommend building out that team sooner rather than later. If you also think that cloud is more of an operational paradigm than a location, you might have come to the same conclusion I have. The tools and solutions you select should be cloud agnostic wherever feasible. While the major cloud providers all have native ops solutions for backup, monitoring, and deployment, the reality is you're probably going to be running in a multi-cloud scenario, which means the benefit of using a native solution is usually outweighed by the incurred necessity of supporting multiple native solutions across each cloud provider that you're using, including your on-prem stuff. Unless there's some compelling differentiation in a native solution that provides your organization with a competitive advantage, the focus should be on solutions and tools that will work across your entire cloud real estate. That means less training required for your ops folks. That's a good thing. <laughs> potential for a unified view across all of these different providers, and a lower total cost of ownership for maintaining the solutions. As your applications spread out to alternative clouds and on-prem platforms, your operational tools and solutions can follow in tow instead of implementing a net new solution for each provider. Both your application teams and ops folks will be glad to have a standard approach and tool set to use while implementing all these cool new application architectures. The good news is that technology vendors are well aware of this trend, and I've seen cloud agnostic solutions appear across the spectrum of products to support the new multi-cloud reality. Some of the solutions are full SaaS offerings that run the control plane for you, while others are a self-managed affair you'll deploy and manage on your own. Either way, selecting a cloud agnostic solution will simplify your operations during a time when complexity is on the rise. So what do you think? Are the alternative cloud providers and edge players a big deal? Does on-prem cloud sound like a pipe dream to you? Do you think I'm wrong about the cloud agnostic solutions? Let me know. You can find me on LinkedIn or leave a comment down below. Thanks everyone for watching and until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there. Bye for now. I mean, you know what the problem is, I haven't had enough coffee yet. Oh, Harley Ray Jepsen, you never steer me wrong.